Structural components of the shed can affect litter conditions. Insulation, side wall curtains, ceiling baffles, shed tightness, floor construction and external landscaping and drainage all play a role in keeping the shed environment and litter conditions ideal. Insulation is essential in both cool and warm climates. It helps maintain internal shed conditions and contributes to keeping heating and cooling costs down. All shed walls and roofs will have an R value, which is a measure of its thermal resistance. The higher the R value, the better the insulation ability and resistance to heat transfer between the walls and roof to the outside. The R value required for your sheds will depend on the climate. Farms in cool climates may need insulation with a different R value to those located in subtropical or warmer areas. The R value of the roof should be higher than the walls, as this is where the majority of heat is lost. When sheds have inadequate insulation for the conditions, too much heat can be lost from the shed, which will also result in the inside walls feeling cold. When this happens, the warm, humid air inside the shed will condense when it comes in contact with the cool wall surface. This can often result in wet and caked litter. Damaged insulation can cause similar issues with condensation as the R value will have reduced. The type of insulation material often varies between farms. Older sheds that have been retrofitted with spray foam insulation may need it reapplied over time if cracks have developed or moisture or beetle damage has occurred. Damaged panels may also need replacing. Thermal cameras are a useful tool that can show areas where hot and cold patches occur. This can indicate that maintenance may be needed in these areas to minimise possible leakage, condensation and wet litter problems. Shed leakage can be a cause of wet litter, particularly during cold weather. Any leakage points in the shed can let warm air escape and cold air in, leading to higher energy costs and wet floors. Any air that enters the shed should be through inlet vents so that it can be conditioned to the internal air temperature before it reaches chicken level. This will help keep chickens warm and litter dry. When cool air enters the shed without being conditioned, it will fall directly to the floor. Moisture from the air will condense and go into the litter and the litter will not be able to dry out as quickly. Both of these issues will result in more water in the litter and possible caking problems. Known places where leakage can be a problem include fans, shutters, vents, doors, curtains and heating inlets. Telltale signs of leakage points are where sunlight is shining through. Close curtains tight and if still a problem, flaps to help seal them may be needed. Fans and doors can be sealed with fan covers and weather strips. Areas where gaps have formed can be sealed with gap filler. Dust accumulation around vents and doors may be an indicator of shed leakage in that area. Wet litter alongside walls may be an indication of air leakage, but could also be a sign of a groundwater seepage problem. If moisture is thought to be seeping up through the floor and into the litter, it may be due to external drainage, inadequate site preparation, or damage to the compacted clay floor. To address this issue, make sure the ground outside the shed slopes away from the walls. Ensure drainage between sheds is well maintained and not blocked with debris. Regularly performing a shed pressure test and sealing any leaks will improve the efficiency of the ventilation system, reduce energy costs and improve litter conditions. A low shed pressure may indicate a lot of leaks. The warm, humid conditions in a poultry shed are ideal for darkling beetles, making them common and difficult to control. They are potential disease carriers and can also have detrimental effects on the quality and longevity of shed floors, walls and insulation.
darkling beetles and larvae can survive between batches, often burrowing into the shed floor or tunnelling into cracks and crevices once the chickens have been removed. When chickens are in the shed, beetles will commonly be found in the litter under feed pans and along shed walls. When conditions are ideal, the darkling beetle can develop from an egg to reproductive adult in as little as 40 days. The larval mealworm stage is when the most structural damage is done in the shed. Adults lay eggs in the litter from which the lesser mealworm hatch. The mealworm will burrow into the soft areas of the floor, walls and roof of the shed, damaging insulation and the integrity of the floor. Damage caused by beetles can reduce the R value of wall insulation and the insulating capacity of the floor. Large numbers of beetles can cause significant structural damage to shed walls in a short period of time. This can result in increased levels of condensation and possibly wet litter issues, particularly in cold weather conditions. Following a control program may not eliminate beetles entirely from the sheds, but it could help reduce their impact. Rotating classes of insecticide treatments combined with litter management practices to keep the litter dry may limit beetle growth. If reusing litter, pushed up piles can be treated with an approved insecticide to treat the beetles as they scramble to the top of the pile. If beetle populations are large, it may be worthwhile replacing all litter between batches. Maintaining your shed with adequate insulation and minimal leakage will contribute towards a shed that is running efficiently and will help keep the litter dry. Inadequate design, poor quality materials, incorrect adjustments, inadequate maintenance, damage by machinery, wear and tear, corrosion, ground movement or beetles can result in higher operating costs and make litter management difficult.